Our project is groundwater flow modeling of Kadangalur Panjait using visual mod flow. We are guided by Ms. Anna Roy. Our group consists of myself, Marvin, Nivedia Mohan, Sandeh Sundar and Vinaya Murli. In order to predict the fluctuations of the water table, the aquifers can be simulated. One of the mathematical models that simulate aquifer behavior is a mod flow model. Our study area is a Kadangalur Panjait in Anaklam district covering an area of 18.06 square kilometer. The borehole selected is a Binanipura observation well. Coming to objective, to develop a 3D groundwater flow model of Kadangalur Panjait using mod flow, to simulate the model using suitable boundary and initial conditions, to calibrate the model using observed groundwater levels in the study area, to validate the model using observed groundwater level in the study area, and to predict the future possible groundwater fluctuations in the area, and scope of project, to implement proper groundwater management strategies, and to predict the effect of hydrological changes on the behavior of aquifers using a 3D model. And the methodologies of formulation and development of model, importing the base map, importing elevation data to the layer, importing aquifer properties to the model, it include initial head storage, hydraulic conductivity. And next is importing the well data to the model, assigning boundary condition and their river recharge, constant head and evapotranspiration. Then we do model simulation, model calibration, model validation and at last we obtain a model output. Now, the results of a project. Calibration curve corresponding to hydraulic conductivity of 0.0025 meter per second is shown. From the graph, it can be concluded that the simulated data is best suited with the field conditions. Hence, conductivity of 0.0025 meter per second is further chosen for model validation and future groundwater level predictions. Validation results also showed that good correlation exists between observed and calculated head. After validation, three different scenarios were considered to predict the groundwater level variations for the study area during the period of 2020 to 2030. The head versus time graph showing the results of these scenarios are given. Based on the graphs, it can be seen that scenario 2 shows a drawdown of about 2 meters compared to scenario 1. This may be due to over exploitation of groundwater due to excessive pumping in the study area. And in scenario 3, an increase in water table by about 2 meters from the average is observed. Spatial variation graphs obtained but for the different scenarios are also in illustrated. The output model developed could be used for further groundwater modeling studies and to implement proper groundwater management strategies.